Hey folks, today we've got six tips for how you should act correctly during an emergency such as nosebleeds or a seizure. Let's go. Number six, seizure. There are the rumors, holding the tongue with a spoon or somehow ensuring that the person doesn't swallow his or her tongue. Fact is, during an epileptic seizure, not much can be done except to call a doctor and get help. After the attack, you can then place the person on their side and wait till the doctor arrives. Number five, revival. To revive a person without a pulse, you can do a combination of mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation and chest compressions. You definitely need to be really sure that the victim has no pulse, because the pressure on the chest can break his or her ribs and even damage the lungs. If the victim's heart is really not beating and no doctor is nearby, you can start to revive them. Chest compressions should be performed with 100 compressions per minute. Every 30 compressions should be interrupted for two breaths and then continue. Number 4. Disinfectants Although it's natural for most people to disinfect a wound, in most cases it's done wrong. Clean the wound with water and then put some healing ointment on it. If the wound isn't bleeding much, you can go without the bandage, because the fresh air heals the wound best, and is not dampened or unnecessarily strained by the friction of the bandage. Number 3. The Pressure Bandage For a pressure bandage, you should never use a rope, but always create a cloth to use from a t-shirt or something similar. Otherwise, there's the risk of creating a blood congestion and the arm could need amputating. Only when the bleeding is such a high risk, such as in the loss of a hand, that an amputation would be the lesser evil can you use a rope around the arm. Number 2. The Car Accident In a car accident, you'd probably really like to get the victims immediately out of the car. But since you don't know what injuries the victim has suffered exactly, it's sometimes better to leave the person still until a doctor or paramedic has arrived. Of course, only if the car isn't burning. Secure the accident site and pay attention to the vital signs of the victim. A doctor can then subsequently determine what injuries the victim is suffering and take the next steps. And finally, number one, nose please, because that ensures that the blood pressure rises to the head, which as you can imagine is not good. Should too much blood run simultaneously from your nose, alternate the tissue between the left and right nostril, at least for a few minutes. If the bleeding doesn't stop, then go see a doctor. Okay folks, well I hope these tips are helpful the next time you're in an emergency. If you like this video, why not check out another one right here. Until next time, bye!